Hi everyone, it's Lings and welcome to another Indie Game Collective Showcase. Um, good morning everyone actually, I am filming this in the morning and actually I feel pretty fit. I hope you are gonna have a wonderful day or I hope you have had a wonderful day if it's later in the day for you. <clears throat> this is quite unusual but let's see how this works. Um, we are looking into a game called Silicon, Silicon Dreams today. It is a game made by uh, James Patton and Clockwork Bird and um, published by Clockwork, Clockwork Bird. And basically it's a bit about like interrogation, um, how would you call it? Like a, I wouldn't say like a classic detective detective game but like more in like an investigative game oops sorry and we are in the future probably not so distant future but we are in the future and um and our choices matter if you don't know much about the game we are on the same page <clears throat> so let's get straight into it Ooh. Oh, we can walk around? No. Ooh. Wait, no, no, no. Okay, what is this? Uh, dear unit DO527, welcome to your new home and to your new life to the Kronos family of things. At Kronos, we recognize the importance of allowing our products and workface to find value in what they do, their need to strive towards a purpose. We gave you understanding, the ability to process information and communicate ideas. We gave you a purpose, each of you has a role to play. We gave you the ability to feel satisfaction for serving your function. We hope you enjoy your time in our service. Most heartful thanks, CEO of Kronos Robotics, Inc. Whoever's signature that is. All right. Model, Alex. Manufactured in 2045. Uh, you are about to speak to an android known as Alex, who will help you train in your role as an interrogator. Alex's basic information and portrait are dis displayed above. However, Kronos is also con concerned Alex systems may be deteriorating. Investigate these concerns and take whatever action you deem necessary. We trust you will live up to Kronos' high expectations. Your notes will be automatically recorded below and discarded after each session. Oh. All right, freaky, cool. Good morning, Alex. I'm ready to begin the evaluation or, hello, Alex. Could you remind me what we're doing here? Uh, good morning, I'm ready to begin the evaluation. I'm glad to hear it, D0527. As you know, your task as diagnostic android will involve many conversations such as this. It is my duty to under, uh, instruct you in this task and evaluate whether you're fit to perform it. Can you see me on your TV feed? Oh. <clears throat> uh. Oh, which screen? On your right, mounted to the ceiling, you should see a restrained figure. That is me. All Kronos interrogations are performed in a remote location for your own protection. What? 
You can use this to this live television feed to watch your subject. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's not that's the person I'm interrogating, obviously. All right. So Who am I? You're Android to DO527. You were created to diagnose errors in other androids. You are a DAO9C model of interrogatory android, given emotional scope to allow you to better understand your subject's responses. You were originally fabricated approximately seven months ago in Indonesia, then shipped to California for storage. Two months ago, you were retrieved from storage, and technicians began implanting the skills you would need for your job here. It is thanks to them you can speak. Perhaps you should be great as I am. This is the first time you have been conscious, however. Therefore, in human terms, you were born approximately five minutes ago. <clears throat> where am I? You are now in the neighborhood. This is where all Kronos androids serve, serving at this facility may find their charging pods. It also serves as a relaxing place to pursue leisure activities between scheduled work assignments. You are a special case. As an interrogator, your workspace and personal computer quarters have been combined. This is to ensure your safety and to guarantee that confidential Kronos materials cannot be compromised. Uh, okay. Um, why would I be in danger? Your subjects, in some cases, will be devices suspected of deviating from Kronos behavior protocol. These devices are unpredictable, and though this is unprecedented, you could become um, could become dangerous. The safety and well-being of their assets is Kronos' highest of concerns. All right, please confirm my task here. Your task is to diagnose androids who may need repair. Um, how do I do that? Or how do how what what's the deal? talking to them the same way we are talking now. As you learn more about your subject, new topics will become available. For example, are you not curious about my name? Why do you think I'm called Alex? Hmm. Hmm. I guess. Sure. Why do I have to do it? Your own products robotics take customer satisfaction very seriously. If one of their androids were to break down or develop deviant behavior, it would negatively impact Kronos public relations. Kronos is also keen to maintain its place as a market leader for synthetic humanoid robots. Why not have a human do it? Your function was originally performed by human operators. Aha, uh -huh, interesting. Of course. However, over time, it became more economical for Android workers to do this. Human workers require salaries, Androids only require the cost of maintenance. Many of these econ economies were made possible due to Kronos Robotics work and improved Android intelligence, of course. Oh, that's kind of weird because, you know, like, what, 2060 is um, not that far ahead of us? Um, and I, I know, like, the, the, the worst case scenario for people is, um, you know, robotics, robots, uh, artificial intelligence, automated systems taking over their jobs. And in many cases, it's, it kind of makes sense and it's r a really complex issue. It is, it is a complex idea. So what does Alex stand for? It stands for Artificial Life Experiment. I was originally created to test the limits of artificial intelligence, whether an AI could be built that did not only think, but feel. Ooh. After a long and complicated legal battle, I was acquired by Kronos Robotics, my current owners. Okay, I hope- oh my god, I really wish for this to, like, you know, be, like, super- I don't know how to say it, like, active? Mm. 
You weren't always owned by Kronos. How does being the being owned by them make you feel? Whoa. <laughs> All right, I see. All right, Dev. All right. I'm happy to serve them. Fear and joy? Tell me about Kronos. So maybe she got... Or they got angry at me asking it. But there is a bit of, like, faked joy, a bit of fear. Just because you can, I guess, see or hear joy doesn't mean that it's... I guess... Fully fake? Perhaps? They are the world leaders in Android construction. Founded in 2025. Ain't that soon. Kronos originally provided artificial limbs to amputees and athletes. With three decades, however, within three decades, however, they had also con cor cornered the market in advanced human parsable AI. Joy and fear. What are you fearful or joyful about? <clears throat> this graph just spiked. What does it mean? Ah, that system is measuring my emotions right now. It is a diagnostic tool for you to better analyze your subjects. Okay. So talking about Kronos made you angry? Of course not. My creators made me incapable of anger. What? <laughs> I have nothing but admiration for Kronos. Okay, so it was like a joy-fear thing, but that is weird. Okay. Why have I been given a device for measuring emotions? In earlier times, diagnostics was simple. A smartphone cannot think like a human. A tablet is without feeling. But Kronos androids are extremely advanced. They were designed to be indistinguishable from humans at first glance. Kronos androids simulate a variety of emotional states. They are incredibly complex devices. Analyzing an android's emotional state, therefore, is a key part of your task. Okay, how does it measure emotions? Or through via what? The device's hardware is housed in the chair I'm sitting in. It reads signals from my body, measuring a combination of ne neural si signals, galvanic skin response, heart rate, beat breathing, pupil dilation, and other biological factors. Androids, including myself, have become so biologically lifelike that our bodies can be analyzed for emotional responses, just like a human's. Very interesting. Okay, which ones will I need to analyze? The machine measures six emotions. Fear, anger, sadness, joy, disgust, and surprise. I can only feel some of these, and I'm therefore suited to being your first subject. Huh. Is she made to feel... I guess. How peculiar. I like this a lot so far. This feels so good. Like, I want to just dive into the whole game, and there's... um. Uh, but there's like also DLC that just is, was added. There is a demo of this game. I highly recommend that you try it out. Though I will say I haven't tried the demo, so I can't tell if it does the game justice. Um, but yeah. Um, how do I actually tell if an android is broken? An excellent question. When an android is brought in for diagnosis, you will receive a report. Your task is to answer the questions found in this report. Finally, you will decide if the subject is to be released or decommissioned. Alternatively, you may find it appropriate to send an android to the maintenance department. This has been, fo been found to solve behavioral problems. In some cases... You told me that you cannot feel anger, but it was registered on this machine. Can androids lie? An impressive observation. While once thought impossible, Kronos has documented numerous cases of androids developing this ability. 
though the cause is unknown, Kronos policy states it is an undesirable behavior. Yeah. Oh. Okay. My programming demands that I inform you. Any lying android should be dealt with harshly. Okay. So that, I think the joy is her programming. And the fear is maybe like her unsubtle, like insecurity about me actually asking this right now. Okay. If it's not supposed to be possible for androids to lie, how did it happen? As I said before, Kronos has determined that the cause is unknown. Deception is, it seems, in some way linked to emotional capability. However, this has been deemed deviant behavior and will not be tolerated. Ooh, the music kicking in like this. All right, all right, Al Alex. Uh, can I review our conversation? Uh, press the transcript item. Uh, that's for my own use. Ah. Questions transcripts. Very good. Where is this report? You can access it on the report top left of your tablet. Many diagnosticians get distracted by the minute... minute of subject bandit minute I actually don't know what that word means I guess the I don't know in this context I don't know and forget the report this is not advisable remember filling in the report is your ultimate goal look over the report now <clears throat> Okay, so we've got the assignments, we've got questions, we've got our subject here. How do I analyze sadness? During an inter interrogation, you may need to evoke a particular emotion, but may not know how to proceed. Kronos' chosen policy is the use of general questions. There are questions which have been proven, uh, which have been proved to elicit particular emotions in subjects. And even if questions do not elicit the emotion directly, they usually hint at what topics you can discuss in order to elicit it. Hmm. Did, when did you last feel afraid? So you can try things out with Alex. That's pretty cool. I'm not sure I can experience, I can experience fear. To me, there are only different outcomes. I do not place much value on one over another. Huh. Um. Also about the report, uh, the greatest weakness. What is that? It is true, there is a weakness of mine that I'm concerned about. It is very personal, I do not trust you to respect it. If you were to somehow earn my trust, however, I would consider confessing my weakness. Oh, at this juncture, I'm obliged to suggest that you could ask a general question about trust. My answer may indicate how you can get my trust. Hmm. I've always felt happy at home in museums. I was displayed in one by my creators, the London Science Museum. An entire room was dedicated to me and my creators, uh, my creators' other work. Okay. All right, so we can. Ah, uh, so depending on how we ask her, we may gain her trust. Oh, okay. What about the report? Um, the final action. 
This decision is part of your duties as an interrogator. When you feel you have to pr um, provide a sufficient answer to each question on the report, you must decide best to return the subject to working order. If no action is necessary, they may be released. Minor glitches or errors can often be repaired by the maintenance department. Here it is. If you manage this far into the video, thank you very much. Thank you. I very much appreciate it. It means a lot. However, for some devices, there is no choice but to decommission them entirely. How will I know which action is the correct one? That question is the precise purpose of your exercise. However, it's helpful to consider the questions and answers on the report. These will usually indicate the correct course of action. Be aware that all submitted reports are reviewed by a third party to ensure the dependability of Kronos interrogator androids. It is wise to ensure that your given answers and the action taken taken are not contradictory. So I'm happy to serve them anger 45. All right. So oh, this is very nice. This is very nice. Uh the decision This decision is part of your duties as an interrogator. Yeah. Minus 30. It, it it's not a good decision like like it's probably not easy. It's not going to be easy. I don't think it is. Here's the questions that we can ask her them. And these are the assignments. Why are these two TVs broken though? Like this screen is broken, that one on the very right, or it is somehow not connected. Not broken, but not connected. And this facility seems crazy empty. I cannot wait to actually ask more of these questions. But I think... Oh yeah, and the submit will turn up as soon as... The sub submitting is possible. So, yeah. Oh my goodness. I'm super excited right now. Windows opening. Time to air out. Because I really want to get into this, um, and I think I want to make this a live stream. Um, but this looks so good. Oh my goodness, I'm, I really want to continue playing, but I need, I, I, I want to keep these videos under half an hour so that it's com comfortable for everyone to watch. That being said, I will drop the link in the description box to the to the game um, make sure to check it out big shout out to the indie game collective people thank you thank you so much for watching it means a lot to me but if this seems like something that you want to see make sure to follow um or check out um my twitter i will post when i go live with this game specifically um and Yeah, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you enjoy, enjoy what you see, if you like, like, these different showcases. And... I'm really looking forward to this. This is gonna be great. Super excited. It was, by the way, released this April 21. And I think we can give it a little more, uh... Like, a little bump and a bit more, um... Like, I guess, views and attention. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you with the next video. Take care. Bye.